I've got a review right now of a Nintendo Switch game that I've been playing uh, kind of obsessively over the last little while. It's called Road Redemption, and I am a massive fan of you know, Electronic Arts' original Road Rash games uh, for the Sega Genesis. Those games blew my mind when they first came out. And I've been wanting EA to make us a new Road Rash game for a long time, and they refuse. EA, you're not picking up the phone when I call. Please make us a new Road Rash game. In the meantime, we've got games like Road Redemption, um, which is uh, out on a bunch of different platforms. I wanted to play it on the Switch because I felt like the Switch would be a great home for an arcade racing game like this where you're beating the crap out of people with bats and sticks and uh, shotguns. The shotgun's my favorite weapon in the game, by the way, because you reload just like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger did in Terminator 2 and you're blasting away at bad guys. It's so cool. Uh, this game is loaded with issues and problems. It's got frame rate issues. It's got some control problems. Um, it's a little bit rough with textures. There's a lot of repetition. But you know what? Screw all that. You love what you love, right? That's the thing that I've learned in my uh, 75 years of reviewing things, is that you love what you love and sometimes you just can't help it. This is a buried treasure in the making. Um, and it's got lots of, you know, quirks and problems and frustrations, but it's fun. At the core of it all is this fun engine that works, you know? I mean, you've got a lot of systems at play here. You got to keep your bike on the road and you've got to, uh, sometimes you've got racing missions, sometimes you've got to kill them all, sometimes you uh, have a one-on-one -on -one battle with a boss that you've got to take on. Uh, and so you've, you're struggling to keep your bike on the road and not go veering off of bridges and up, up mountains or crash into vehicles. Why are people just driving around willy-nilly? Like people are taking taxi cabs in this game for some reason. None of it makes sense, uh, but you've got all of these, you know, obstacles in your way that you've got to avoid, and if you can't avoid them, and if you do get the controls down, it just feels incredibly fun to bash people off of their motorbikes and they go flailing and flying. Uh, you do have to kill a bunch of cops in this game. It's all just this crazy, you know, ridiculous high fantasy. It's kind of uh, Mad Maxian with some of the enemies that you've got to battle with, and it's also, you know, obviously paying homage to 90s-based extreme extreme games like this, uh, but uh, you know, the core of it is just enjoyable and it puts a smile on your face when you bash your opponents off of their bikes and sometimes you get allies and you're not supposed to bash them off your bikes and you will be told don't bash your allies off of their bikes uh, and there's cars to blow up, you get um, bombs that you can attach to different vehicles, I loved doing that as well, that was really fun, you'd sidle up beside somebody and you go and then the countdown timer would go beep boop boop and then they would explode in a big fireball which was always cool. Uh, sometimes you get these hallucinogenic um, uh, missions as well, where cars are just falling from the sky and you're trying to avoid them, like you're, you know, driving through a scene from Twister or something like that. That was super cool as well. Uh, you know, lots of things will frustrate you and annoy you when you play this game, uh, as they did me. The challenge is a little bit all over the place. Some uh, missions that you're gonna, you, you know, you're gonna blast through, like racing is not that difficult if you just want to avoid everybody. Um, but sometimes you will get hung up and, uh, you know, cars will just appear over the horizon in a cheap way or you'll be going too fast and you can't get out of the way or you veer off road for a big chunk of time so you got to reset to the track. And the way that the game penalizes you is pretty tough as well. You've got basically a, uh, a persistent health meter that goes down, also goes up with the amount of carnage that you create, uh, but it goes down from level to level. So sometimes, uh, you know, you'll be just have like a little tiny titch of health and you've got to start a whole sort of, you know, road mission and uh, you don't make it very far because if you get beamed on the head by a sledgehammer or shot or, you know, run into a car, boof, you're done. Game over and start again. So it's very arcadey. Um, and the cool way that they've kind of justified that is they randomize uh, the track layouts, which are really point A to point B. Um, you're you're going to see a lot of repeating scenery and stuff like that, but it's not the exact same sequence of scenery or vehicles or, or ob obstacles or bridges that you can take, side shortcuts that you can take, shortcuts. Uh, and when you do take those, sometimes you'll get health power-ups or nitro power-ups. That's the other thing that you're always kind of grappling with is when to press that boost button by double tapping on the uh, R trigger. Uh, and that will, you know, you'll be burning rubber down the road and you'll wail past some of the opponents that you got to knock off. Uh, so it's not as elegant as it potentially could be, for sure. Visually, uh, control-wise, um, you know, texture details, 
uh, e even the animations and things like that that you'll see from the bad guys that you're the opponents they're not, not, not nobody's really a bad guy everybody's a bad guy in this thing uh, but you know what the the little commentary that you get from your buddy uh, who's who's up there you know egging you on is kind of funny when you get screamed at by your opponents it's kind of funny as well uh, it's definitely done with a tongue and, and cheek sense of humor uh, there's some thrashy kind of metal type music in there there's some techno music none of it is overly um, memorable or overly offensive. It kind of works with this extreme style of gameplay. Uh, and I, I dug it. I mean, one thing that I definitely will say is that you're not going to find a lot of people to play with online right now. I, I don't think tons and tons of people are finding this game. Uh, I think it, if it becomes a hit or a big success for the developers, it will be more of the cult hit variety. Uh, but you you know, you are going to have fun blasting through these different uh, desert areas and snowy areas and you are going to fun have fun toppling uh, your opponents and blowing up cop cars and I think the thing that was the most fun for me was reloading my shotgun and blasting away at uh, some of the people on the road as giant semi-trucks were driving by. It just felt like Terminator 2. I had a smile on my face with this game when I wasn't yelling at it because I had to start over again because it is difficult. Um, you can also unlock all kinds of attributes as well. They put in this light RPG sort of mechanic in there where you take your XP points and you spend them on uh, increased health or increased ammunition. Uh, and you can also unlock uh, later levels that you have uh, gone past. So you can start the game not from level one or race one, you can start from level three. Uh, all of this is sort of the campaign mode. You can also just jump into a quick race mode and just have fun with it and it will randomize everything and um, you will just sort of race around and, and beat up on, on everybody that's on the road. Listen, this isn't a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. It, uh, you know, it could run better, it could look better, it could play better even. Uh, but I thought it was really, really fun. I really enjoyed this title. And because of that, I'm putting all of my weight of my score into the fun camp. I'm going to give uh, Road Redemption an 8 out of 10.